Hola, buenos días por todos. Hola, amigo y amiga. So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Señora en España. So, for today's vlogs, we are going to visit the Cathedral de Malaga. So, now we are heading there. And the Cathedral de Malaga is located inside the Centro Histórico. And for today, we are going to have a very long, long walk tour. So, let's go! Okay, Vamos, see. amigos and amigas. mga amigo and amiga, we are already here in, in front of the Cathedral de Malaga. Actually, we're, we are inside already of Centro Historico. So, this is one of the tourist spot, tourist spot here in Malaga. So, if you will come here in Spain, don't forget to visit the Malaga city. So, there you are. So, we are here now heading to the Cathedral de Malaga. So, as you can see, we are seeing the brown walls just the side of this cathedral so now i'm going to have a around and we are going to check all of the side of this cathedral so let's go and vamos Did you know that the Cathedral of Malaga 
is a Roman Catholic Church in the city of Malaga in Andalusia in southern Spain. It is in the Renaissance architectural tradition. The cathedral is located within the limits defined by a now missing portion of the medieval Moorish walls. The remains often surround by the nearby Alcazaba and the castle of Hebral Faro. It was constructed between 1528 and 1782. Its interior is also in the Renaissance style. The cathedral, built on a rectangular plan, is composed of a nave and two aisles, the former being wider, though having the same height as the aisles. The choir is tall through the work of Pedro de Mena. The facade, unlike the rest of the building, is in Baroque style and it is divided into two levels. On the lower level are three arcs, inside of which are portals separated by a marble columns. Above the door are medallions curved into stone. Those of the lateral doors represent the patron saints of Malaga, Saint, Sir, Saint Syriacus and Saint Paula while the over the center represents the annunciation. The facade, unlike the rest of the building, is in Baroque style and is divided into two levels. On the lower level are three arcs, inside of which are portals separated by marble columns. Above the doors are medallions curved in stone. Those of the lateral doors represent the patron saints of Malaga, Saint Syriacus and Saint Paula, while that over the center represents the unknown station. The Annunciation also referred as the Annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Annunciation of Our Lady or the Annunciation of the Lord is the Christian celebration of the announcement by the angel Gabriel to Mary that she would conceive and bear that she would conceive and bear a son through a virgin birth and become the mother of Jesus Christ, the Christian Messiah and Son of God making the incarnation. Which way, Angel?
Robert, pues no va a reír. Festival of the Cine. Ah. International Cinema Festival is here. Mm -hmm. Then you have Antonio Banderas building house. It's, it's from Malaga, yeah? Ah. Oh. It's gorgeous. He's oh. in a Hollywood actor, no? Yeah, Hollywood. Yo, yo me vuelvo. Yo quiero andar un poquito. Vale, o sea, se lo digo porque las otras están esperando. So there you are, amigos and amigas. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Then, if you like this video and you enjoy it, don't forget to give a subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Senora en España. And also, don't forget to give like, 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 like. So for my next vlog, I'm going to show you the Malaga part. Malaga Park is just in front of the Centro Historico, so you don't need to go far. It's just nearby, just in front. So it's just a, just a short walk just to reach the Malaga Park. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy watching. I hope you enjoy watching, watching, watching. So venga. Adios. Hasta luego. Bye-bye.